welcoming all of you to this uh, panel, this panel session. I know some of you are sitting here thinking, this has been a very long day, why don't we quit now? So let me assure you that the people that we are talking about assisting, helping, the vulnerable out there in the real world, the people who are subject to uh, very negative consequences of, uh, by, because they don't have the kind of resilience that they need. They have worked a lot harder than we have, so let's stay with it for another hour or so. <laughs> the previous speakers have made a very strong case for paying more attention to resilience, for more action. We need action to strengthen resilience. We need action at the local level. We need action at the national level. And we need action at the international level. The kind of action we need will be context specific, but it would probably include risk management, strengthening the coping ability, the ability to, um, to uh, predict the shocks and respond uh, to them, to avoid the negative consequences of the shocks that are particularly irreversible that cannot be reversed later when the shock, when the shock disappears. And the, the low-income households, of course, are much more vulnerable to these kinds of shocks and the stressors, that is, the short and the longer-term kinds of, um, of issues. I want to congratulate you for picking this topic. It is very, very important, and it is very, very timely. So we need action, but we need enlightened action, which means action that's based on evidence. And this panel and the rest of the conference will identify the evidence that is currently available. It will review the um, action that has been taken and the, uh, out, uh, the outcome from that. Um, the um, panel and the um, uh, conference will suggest action that can be taken now, and it will identify knowledge gaps that need to be filled in order to take further action that is evidence-based. Let me take no more time of the uh, panel, because you came here to listen to the panel and not to me. Let me just say a couple of things uh, about the organization, how we're going to organize the next, um, the next hour. Um, you have an updated agenda uh, on your seat, at least you did when you came, before you sat down, and that uh, shows the, uh, the panel composition as it now is. We had to make a couple of changes due to illness and other commitments. Each panel member will be invited to give a brief uh, introductory uh, statement. Um, we will then um, look for comments from you, from questions, and please pass those index cards to the aisles that will be picked up, uh, and we will go come back to them uh, a little later. In the meantime, I will try to um, <clears throat> ask some additional questions, maybe for clarification, maybe for more detail, and I'll make every effort to make sure that we uh, get the, all of the wisdom uh, that we have time for uh, out of the various panel members. If we have disagreements on the panel, that's fine. If we don't, I'm not seeking disagreement at this late uh, time of the day, but, but we need to get the issues on the table because when Raghul asked me to do this, he said, uh, your job is to make sure that this panel sets the stage for the rest of the conference. Nothing more than that. It was a very straightforward kind of kind of uh, request. Uh, the last two or three minutes of this uh, hour, I will try to sum up. Um, I won't do a very good job at it because I know so many things will be put on the table. So please take notes as we go because don't expect me to, to sum up uh, in a very, in a very uh, complete fashion. Um, panel members, I hope you will build on the presentations that we have heard during the last two hours. It's been a very rich set of presentations, and I hope we can build on those. I do understand if there's going to be some repetition. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, uh, science tells us that we only pick up 20% of what we're being told, so we actually need to say things at least five times. Um, let me now turn to the panel, and I will um, ask uh, Rhoda uh, Tumusimi uh, 
Rhoda, I've known you for many years, so I should be able to pronounce your last name. Uh, Rhoda is a commissioner for rural economy and agriculture in the African Union Commission uh, station here in Ethiopia. Rhoda, you have the floor.